A great day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's huddle. This is Coach Mike Husson. Oh, my gosh, you guys are going to be incredibly impressed today. We're going to blow it out. Yep, we're going to blow it out. Hey, listen, I know where we're going here today, and I know that you're probably being uh, been thoughtful, not being, but you're, you have been thoughtful about, you know, the end of the year coming around the corner here. I mean, we're just like three months away, right, to the uh, beginning of 2020. And if you're listening to this, maybe into the future, hey, that's fine too. But at any rate, you're, you're, you're in this place. It's the, uh, you know, you can call it the last quarter of the year, the final quarter of the year. And frankly, uh, what we're going to talk about today is applicable to any quarter of the year and uh, sometimes even more often. As I noted in my email today, if you want to be a, a great business, you're going to do the SWOT analysis uh, uh, in your business, and if you're a superior business, you're going to do it very, very often, you know, in all different aspects of your business. So um, I want to keep this as simple as possible today because this can be a little bit of work, but important to where I'm going today and to simplify this for you. Uh, I want to just let you know that um, this, frankly, doesn't have to be that complicated uh, doing a SWOT analysis, yet it's a critical exercise in your business to help you to grab a foothold inside of your business uh, so you can determine what things you need to work on in your business and enabling you to really identify your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats. And as we progress in our businesses, as we grow and uh, prosper, uh, looking to get more leads, more conversions, more cash flow, more profitability, more transactions, et cetera, right? We, uh, we, we have to constantly do some evaluation. And it's not a, a process of overthinking. It's really uh, identifying um, that I am going to, and saying to yourself, I am going to work on my business versus working in my business. And for some people, you might be on your own, a solo preneur, if you will, and you're working in your business and you're working on it because you're the only guy or gal doing it, but that really uh, doesn't make <clears throat> uh, much of a difference in the growth of your business. And what I mean by that is uh, it's better to work on it so you can be more effective and efficient in it. I hope that makes sense. And hopefully you're going to get to a place, if you are a solopreneur, where you can get some uh, part-time or full-time help, whether local or virtual. Uh, in these days, we, there's a ton of people that have a lot of virtual uh, telecommuters that work in their businesses. And really, at the end of the day, this is what we can do. So um, as I will note here that like uh, you know, your business, like any other business, must be looked at strategically and ideally before creating any specific goals or outcomes, okay, I want you to imagine that your goal is to build a successful and thriving business. And this is the foundation, especially, you know, Napoleon Hill talks about it in Think and Grow Rich. You know, it starts with a desire. It starts with a dream. It starts with a thought of where you want to go, right? And so um, a business that is a cash-flowing, profitable, scalable business, uh, one that is leverageable and also sellable, right, it, it is important for you to uh, begin using the SWOT analysis uh, to help you to navigate through the different components of your business so you can be more strategic, more effective, more efficient, as I said, with your operations. Very, very important. So the SWOT analysis, by definition, I'm going to go through that really simple here and quick, um, is a strategic planning technique to help you, your company, and your teams identify your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, threats related to your business, such as competition, your markets, project planning, and the like. Very simple. Now, according to Wikipedia, the SWOT analysis is intended to specifically uh, to specify the objectives of the business venture or project and to identify the internal and external factors that are favorable and, yes, unfavorable to achieving 
those particular objectives. Users of the SWOT analysis often ask and answer questions to generate meaningful information for each category and uh, to, to make the tool useful and identify their competitive advantage. And the SWOT has been described as the tried and true tool for strategic analysis. So, you know, oftentimes when, you, when we say you're working in your business, oftentimes it's very tactical work. It's making the calls, it's doing the follow-up, it's going on the presentations, it's pushing papers, et cetera, right? And uh, we forget often that we have to be, we would be better off if we're more strategic about what we're doing. Thus, we can create the appropriate and implement the most practical and results-oriented uh, tactics in our business. So the SWOT analysis will help us do that. So the overview, and I'm going to keep this simple, keep it sweet for you guys, is very, very simple. And that is the strengths identified here are characteristics of, the, of your business, your project, given in the advantage over other things, such as, I'll give you an example, uh, what are your strengths? Are you good at lead generation? Might be something that you're strong at. What are your characteristics of you, your team, your, your services, your product, right? What are the strengths of that as it relates to the, the marketplace, all right? And what is the advantage that you have over others? Are you faster? Are you quicker? Do you offer guarantees? Do you, uh, do you offer good pricing as an effect? Okay. Albeit it's not, we're not talking about discounting your services, but do you offer things of this nature? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Characteristics of the business that place the business at a disadvantage relative to others. Could be your physical environment does not allow you to maximize your strengths, as an example, okay? Your weaknesses could be lack of skills that might need to be improved, okay? Now, the next one is opportunities. What are the elements in the environment that the business can exploit to take uh, to its advantage, right? Um, an individual or a company that has a strong brand awareness is a great opportunity okay having that brand awareness is a terrific opportunity for most now if you don't have it what are other elements that could be an opportunity for you right the threats are elements in the environment that could cause trouble for the business or project that you're working on um, there's one internal factor mindset wise or, or uh, psychologically is complacency okay that could be a threat to your business you're, you're, you're doing well, and then all of a sudden you become complacent. That's a threat to the long-term growth of your business because what happens in that arena is you reach a pinnacle, critical mass. You might, because of that outcome and result, you stop working in your business and stop working on your business because now you've become complacent. Oh, I've made a lot of money, and I've got some momentum going, and you think it's going to last forever. Guys, it doesn't. So you got to be careful that complacency in and of itself can be a threat to your growth of your business, all right? Um, and other things that are threats, okay? If you're in a particular industry that's, uh, that's, uh, that's uh, driven by economic conditions like real estate or mortgage banking or computer business, things like that that it might have an effect, could interest rates, could changes in economic conditions be a threat to your business? Those are more of external type threats that you have. So at the end of the day, the SWAT is useful if you want to have a growing business. Keep in mind, it doesn't matter where you are. It matters where you want to go. And meaning that if, you, uh, if you're in your first year of business or you're rebuilding your business, your goal is to do X so you can get Y. Your goal is to take yourself from point A to a larger point, which is point B, and that you want to increase maybe, as an example, your sales, all right? Then the SWOT is critical and helpful if you are starting and you are 
rebuilding your business. It's also critical in your business, if, even if it's going very, very well, because you are now open to other threats, external threats of people vying for your business. Okay? There's a big example in the real estate world today with a company called Zillow. Right? That can be a threat to the real estate agents that are in the marketplace. So can you compete with them? Do you align with them? What are the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats that exist in that world? So evaluating no matter how big we become, right, even Zillow now, taking that into account, has a threat on their doorstep. They thought they were the big boys in town, and they're pretty darn good. They're pretty, they're pretty darn big, let me say it that way, and they're good in some senses, but they're pretty darn big, right? And Keller Williams, as an example, a major franchise system in the real estate world, right, got a hold of this understanding that, that Zillow was a threat to them. And they reversed it on them, and now they want to become a competitor or a threat to Zillow. So, guys... At the end of the day, we've got to keep in mind that strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats help us identify what's going on in our business, help us to build upon our strength, understand our weaknesses so we can build upon them, understand where our opportunities are so we don't get locked-necked into one way of doing things, right? And then we have to keep our eyes peeled, if you will, and make our minds available and be a watchful uh, person about our business and what are the threats that we are engaged in. So, guys, I'm going to attach to the recording at realprofitbuilders.com this overview that I just gave to you. In addition to that, it's a simple uh, document that gives you the ability to do your own SWOT analysis, and I would make copies of it so you can do them consistently. And uh, one, one last thing is, you know, I mentioned in the document here and that you'll see, but what I want to share with you is that you can take this uh, document and break it down into the multiple components within your business and use a SWOT in each one of the areas in your business. Globally, for sure, and then, uh, and then you can do it in the, in the specific areas of your business. It could be for lead generation. It could be for your presentations. It could be for your following up. It could be for your social media marketing, uh, et cetera. Anything that has to do with your business and its components, you can use the SWOT, and it's very powerful and helpful in this arena. We are working on ours right now, coming into the wrap of the year and going into 2020 and, uh, and moving forward, and it's, and it's a very critical thing to do, and it's an extremely helpful uh, uh, part of your business because it's going to help you to be a little bit clearer and if not a lot clearer about where you are and helping you identify the best way to get to where you want to go. So make sure you go to realprofitbuilders.com, the podcast site. There's an attachment there under this recording. It will be there somewhere. I don't know how it's going to be there, but it will be there. And just click the link, and you can download the PDF and, and print it out and uh, make that happen. you got any questions, reach out to me, Mike and Mike Husson. Go out there and make it a great day, and go swat your business, not any flies, okay, unless they're really bothering you. All right, so go make it a great day. We'll talk to you tomorrow.